Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Today we find ourselves quite far from Home Island. Uh, the sun is going down on another day, which is great because it looks fantastic. However, it's kind of bad because we came here to look at these shipwrecks. We got a little waylaid by a shark, which we totally um, murdered in his stupid face. So we are carrying some uncooked shark. What I thought we could do is actually build a shelter um, and kind of camp the night out because um, it's a minute to... Yeah, the sun's gone down about now, which is not so good because it gets really dark, like super dark, and we don't have a working torch, so we can't really sort of do too much uh, throughout the night. Uh, we've got a hammer, which is brilliant. Um, so we brought that along. We're in preparation. We can build ourselves a shelter. Uh, we're going to have to click off and click back on this. No, that's not a shelter. This is a shelter. There we go. So we need three sticks, four palm leaves, and one lashing. Uh, this is not going to be too bad, I don't think. We, we can get sticks. Um, yeah, palm leaves and lashings. There's plenty of driftwood and stuff, but um, I don't think it matters too much what we use. Moon is out. Um, we've got our lantern, which really doesn't do too much in the way of illumination. Uh, we've got like a circle of illumination. There's some moths and stuff, so I'm kicking around. Uh, what's this? Corrugated scraps. Don't need that. Um, driftwood. Yeah, I think we can use driftwood to actually. Oh, oh no, it's got really dark, like properly, properly dark, like. Oh, I was uh, hoping nobody would turn the lights up before I pick these up. Good. Uh, four of those. We could probably make a fire as well. Cook that shark steak up. Um, mostly because I don't think it's going to keep long enough for us to get back to Home Island and, and smoke it up. So a campfire is also going to give us some light. Um, we've got enough stuff for it, I think. Yeah, four sticks. There we go. Um, we're gonna need kindling um, and we're also gonna want to make a spit I mean I guess we could kind of balance uh, we got uh, we got enough stuff for a fire pit I guess we could balance um, like the steak on top of the uh, the fire but I'd rather I'd rather actually make a spit and do it properly so um, lashings and stuff are quite easy to come by we get out a lantern because, well, 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 Mr. Palm Tree, let's see if we got, yeah, I got a coconut here. The world's smallest palm tree. If we get out our axe, um, I think, yeah, if we just drop a lantern, it's going to give us some light to work with. Brilliant. And the palm tree is going to raise up uh, from the ground by degrees every time we hit the, uh, hit, hit it with our stone axe. There we go, timber. Brilliant. Um, we'll just physics object this over here and then we've got a we can use the palm top to make a shelter so that's cool I think we're going to have to hit these like more than normal um, in order ooh is that plinky plonky piano music in like shark warning noise is there another shark out there I mean we killed one shark already or is the piano noise just like ooh. It's not. Uh, I feel you should do. Should, you should use some ambient music as you are chopping away at the log to make yourself a uh, little shelter or something. No. Um. Wood stick. Wood stick. Wood stick. And more wood sticks. So we got and palm fronds. Brilliant. Shelter's not going to be too too much of a problem. Uh. Nope. Turn it on and pick it up and then put it in our hand. Brilliant. Um. So I think we can get enough stuff. We'll just drop this on the floor because we, we, we're going to use it. We don't need it just to fill our inventory up at this point. Um, right, what else? Uh, we need we need lashings. Um, oh, another palm frond. Right, okay. Uh, mallet, steak. We've got the, the large smokes. The smokes will be but okay, but the large meat's not going to... Um, so that when you got one steak from that shark, yeah, we did. So I think there's there is a failure state um, when you actually uh, harvest or, or skin a shark. 
So far, we've been lucky. We've got three. We got three stakes from Mr. Spiky, and we got um, three stakes from Mrs. Jaws, but only one from that shark over there. And I'm pretty sure the animation showed us getting like three bits of uh, meat from it. But whatever, I'm not going to argue at this point. I am going to turn the torch, uh, the lantern off, and then turn it back on again because uh, E to interact and tapping E to pick up two different things. So yucca, we need lashings. Um, how many? What, what do we need? We need. Uh, there we go. Craft it. Pick it up. I think if we get close enough between these yuckers, we might even get like more lashings. If we if we sort of position ourselves here, yeah, there we go. So we can make one and then two because the the other um, fibrous plant leaves on the floor. Cool. So that's what, three lashings now. Uh, the bats are screaming around. It is super super scary dark. Uh, more yucca more yucca brilliant oh what palm top a uh, palm palm tree let's craft this one um yeah let's get the lantern because otherwise nobody's going to see anything um let's go back and see what we can do with these uh campfire pit fine drop that down get the hammer um, click off and click back on again uh, and then we, we can actually build a shelter cool brilliant uh, where do we want to put it though here here it's a little, seems a little bit like hilly I don't think it matters it just, it just kind of keeps the rain off I guess um, and what else the, the pit itself down 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 deeper and down one more wood stick really really okay all right all right we got this we got this lads we got this um, we only need to knock down another palm tree. Probably not. I mean, we could probably find a wood stick on the beach, but then we don't have a working torch. We just have that sort of halo of light uh, over there, which is now illuminating our brand new 100% a million dollar shelter. Brilliant. Timber. Uh, I'm going to have to hit the log enough for it to fall off the uh, palm top. I think the, the palm top and palm log. Some people are getting confused with uh, that. But yeah, basically, if you just hit the area where the leaves are, and if you're making connection, then the leaves will eventually fall off and become like palm fronds, I guess. But either way, it's 10 hits, and you'll you'll know because it'll just uh, state change. So we can leave those there, and we can finish our uh, get the hammer out. Actually, it kind of makes makes sense. It helps out, you know. Bam! Oh, hang on a minute. We got to click off and click on. There we go. Done, done, done. Right, we craft that. Uh, we pop it up, done, uh, and oh, we need kindling. Um, we've got enough for kindling, so we can drop this down here, pick that up, and then eat a, eat a light, and then jerk up a stick by smashing mouse over repeatedly. Great. Um, well, it's not too bad. I mean, it's more realistic, I guess. I still would rather use the bow to to to, to use the stick, but I guess it, it doesn't um, require too much in the way of uh, like animation. Uh, whatever, we can leave that there, um, and we get this get our cook on. There we go. There we go. There's no point in you know uh, eating our meat, uh, our smoked meat now when we don't need to. I mean, we're not that hungry, but we may as well cook that. We'll save it, and we will sleep sleep the night away and hopefully we'll hear a little ding there we go so it's a ding for the campfire spit and a like a ringing noise for the smoker uh, we'll take that and this is a different color so this is bright like red oh yeah and the smoked one's very dark so same sort of grid griddle texture pattern on it even though we never cooked it over griddle um fine so that's filled us up as far as uh, we can drop this here i guess Lantern. You, you want to come with us, Lantern? Cool. And we can eat these for water. Since we're not we're not going to be too bad on, on hunger, but the, the water is going to be a big issue. we got plenty of coconuts. Um, yeah, it, it, it's down. You, you sleep, and then the water disappears. So we'll drop... I think we can drop that. Where are you going, coconut? Are you going back to the crab people, coconut? You just... Uh, you just disappearing off back to the sea back to the sea to tell the crab people of our um of our uh, thingy on this island whatever it's drinkable now um yeah water's not too bad now um i'm okay with that uh we could probably drop the coconut 
Uh, we don't need that for the time being. Uh, the sky is the sky is nice. Um, I think it might still rain again. I mean, the the, the rain thingy seems to be. Uh, we'll go over there in a second. Um, I don't think there was another shark. I mean, we've got plenty of inventory space. Uh, what can we do? We could probably get Esri out. Um, I think we can get Esri out and just sort of uh, investigate this shipwreck. I don't think it's quite. I don't think it's that deep here. Where, where are you going? Come on. I don't think it's that deep here. I'm not sure if a shark can actually get between us and. Seriously, Esri, come on. Come on, girl. Come on, Esri. Uh, we've got plenty of arrows, so if something does turn up, we can mess it up. That what? What was that? Was there something loading in, like something with lots of teeth and fins? Hmm. Maybe. Kinda. I don't know. Um. Uh, let's just get our sail on. Right. We can just hide behind the sail, I guess. Whoa, it's coming to coming to knock my faces off. We just hide behind it. No, I better not. I don't know if she goes faster forward or faster backwards, or if it's if there's no difference. I'd rather have a lot of like. I'm not hearing anything. Not seeing anything either. We'll just we'll just boost over here. It's not too too far. Um, if something happens, we can always just swim back. It's not too deep either. We'll just uh, just make sure Esri doesn't flip out or flip over on these rocks. Um, yeah, it's fairly clear down there actually. Fairly, fairly clear. That yellow, uh, orange thing. We can probably just like grab it and haul ourselves up if we didn't have the raft. But we do. Um, there's, a ch there's a chest up there. We've got the console, and it has an engine. We have an engine. I think we have another engine. Right, well, we'll, we'll drop that away. Uh, what's up here? It is empty. What? What? Why is it empty? Is there, is there a chance that these chests just don't have loot in them? I don't know. I mean, okay. It is looking nice around here. i got to say, the, the the guys at Beam Team, the, the, the chaps, have done an excellent job rendering the, the, the water and the sea and the, just like the general environment. I think in that direction there's not a lot like more. There's an island over there which we haven't been to. I think this is, this being the far north, I think that's like an island nearby. Um, and I think there's anything beyond that island either. So uh, we'll just interact with the sail. And say farewell to that shipwreck. Kind of disappointing. I mean, an engine's great, but we need other bits like the fuel pump and I think uh, some duct tape. Duct tape would be great. Uh, let's just keep an eye out because we had the, the sharp piano music last night. I don't know if that is actually sharp piano music or if that's just like ambient music. Um, don't know. I mean, this is pretty deep here. That's the bow of a ship. Right. Okay. Maybe we can get Esri over over this railing on a wave and there we go cool cool brilliant 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 let's go up here and make sure you don't just sail away sail away sail away without us um nice you, you okay there girl just just uh just resting in the sun um so the shark was down there i mean that is quite quite shallow down there that's shallower than I thought a shark could actually swim in, but he was really motoring around this uh, this bay area. Um, kind of glad we didn't try and you know swim out. That's what's in here. What? Nothing. Are you serious? More of nothing. I don't know if that's a bug, or if that's you know, that's a thing. Um, I really hate to. Let's turn this on. I hate to work out what actually happened to the ship. I mean, there's only half a ship here. I don't know what happened to the other half of it. Okay, lantern on. We're going to go for a swim, I think, lads. Um, Jesus, I really hope there isn't a shark in here, because... Uh, um, no, there isn't. It's spooky, though. Spooky shipwreck. What's in here? It is another engine. How many engines does one person need? We have an axe. We have a compass and some clock. Well, that's cool, I guess. Um, what's what else is there? Uh, barrel. I don't think we can interact with those barrels to get like barrel scraps. Um, through here is more tires. Uh, I guess we could have made. We could have made. We could, we could try and carry them home. Vitamins. 
I don't think I've ever seen vitamins yet. Um, yeah. I don't think that, no, no. What are they used for? Navigating between islands. The compass? Yeah, the compass is a little weird uh, if, you're, if you're reading it. Um, oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Just spooky enough. Let's get out of here, though. Good. That's that's good. Uh, let's get the... What have we got? Two, two engines. Oh, at least the engines stack. Um, yeah, so the compass. It's a little weird to read this thing. Uh, true north is actually diagonal. So if you look at the map you've got on uh, when you start the game up or, or load a game. Uh, uh, magnetic north is the top right square in the map. So the whole thing is, is actually shaped diamond shape. Um, and uh, so the actual north, uh, like true north is, is kind of the, the fi on the five by five grid. It's the, the island across the top and squares across the top. So what's inventory space like? Inventory space is fairly full. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll try and get Esri back into water. Esri? Esri, please. I think this might be a little bit tricky because there's a lot of... Yeah, a lot of stuff here. Um, what I'd like to do is see if we can get over this railing without capsizing. Um, Esri. Esri? Come on, girl. Um, I'd like to go over there as well, just to have a, a quick look. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, text on that compass is a little bit missing. Uh, in the meantime, Esri? Esri's having a rest. I don't like this. I think in the meantime, uh, what I'm going to do is say, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel, because that really does help us. And I will catch you next time.